Hi, welcome to Utah Technology Magazine, folks. We are here at the Morning Star Farms Hawthor Hawthorne, no, Hawth Hayworth. Ha Hayworth, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hayworth Collection Media and Press Center that, uh, honestly, uh, I, I don't even know how to begin to thank you guys, really, and I mean that from the bottom of our hearts. Our, our whole team was saying, we've got to interview these people who have been responsible for allowing us to work in this space, the food, the water, and our favorite girl, Whitney, that just left, I think, a couple of days ago. <laughs> so welcome to John yes. and Rick. Yeah, yeah thanks. You're so welcome. Yeah. Um, so now what, now tell us about the Media Center first. Well, uh, last year we activated here at Sundance the, the Morningstar Farms Veggie Burger Bar, and uh, we had a lot of uh, folks from the media looking for a great place to work. So that we recognized the, lead, the, uh, the need last year. So coming off last year's festival, uh, we went to uh, another West Michigan company, Hayworth, and asked if they wanted to partner and, and put together a media center. And the media center's function is really two. It's a place for folks like yourself to uh, do some head down work. And then uh, the other half of the space is really for filmmakers and publicists and the media to get together and share their films with a broader audience. And to interview like this. Exactly. And uh, it's really about giving everyone a fair shot. You know, a lot of the larger films have some really nice sp uh, spaces to work, <laughs> but a lot of the first time filmmakers don't have a, have a place. So that's what this place is all about. And that's what Sundance is really about. First time filmmakers, independent filmmakers, that kind of thing. Now, how do you two know each other? Well, Rick and I worked uh, together years ago when I worked at Hayworth. And uh, we've always uh, kept in touch and are, are great friends and great work partners. So, yeah, I, I called uh, Rick uh, on the airplane um, back early summer after a meeting with the Sundance organization and, and, and uh, ran the idea past him. And you're responsible for all the pretty in here, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we designed the space and provided all the furnishings. Uh, That's and amazing. And then we collaborated together on just graphics on the wall and just to make it um, – feel like a comfortable place for people to do their work. And, and that's what it is. It's like you come here and it's like a work, it's like an office. And then you have these rooms here where we can sit down and, and the furniture is beautiful and it, everything you've just really have provided an incredible place for us to do our work. So mm -hmm. thank you so much. Now, okay, so let's talk about some of the furnishings and stuff. Okay. Well, the now, first of all, you're, you're from back east. Yeah, oh. I, well, I'm back from Michigan as from well. From Michigan, I should say Midwest. Hayworth, Hayworth is headquartered in West Michigan, as is Kellogg's. Okay, so and Kellogg's is is the owner or as Morning Star. Yeah. Okay, yeah. got it. So it's part of Kellogg's. Okay. So yeah, so the furniture that's in here, most of it is it's some of our best actually. Um, we looked at what people were doing to put their work together here at Sundance, and we said let's let's put together the best stuff that we have. And so there's some of the there's some design classics here um, that uh, have stood the test of time, 40 years kinds mm -hmm. of design and then this furniture right here that we're sitting on what is tell us a little on. bit about this this is uh, by a designer uh she's uh spanish patrizia urquiola but oh, she's from spain i think we were talking about yeah that, right? her studio is actually in milan okay so if you're big in uh, design in europe you're out of milan right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um but this this furniture she's particularly specifically designing for hayworth and this is very much geared towards collaborative kind of work. Actually, we call it collaborative lounge. So it's a ah. creative name. But is it kind of meant for this kind of? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So see. it's meant for, uh, as you see it arranged here, that you, you sit side by side with each other and you're collaborating and you're working together. And, and it's, it, and it's, in, it's yep. inclusive, or I don't know what's the word for because I'm not really a designer, but it's including, or yes. it includes. Yeah, it's, and about, it brings us to it's about looking at each other. Right. You know, and Instead interacting together, and at the same time, it's about having a casualness, the, w the way that more and more of us want to work. Right. We, we, uh, we don't like as much formality. Um, we right. prefer the informality, especially as Americans, we do. Right, right. I like informality. And this, this is unedited, unscripted, so we're unformal, unformal here. <laughs> okay, so then, um, so how did you decide on this location, actually, within on Main Street? Well, this space, uh, Sundance had actually been uh, providing a media center for about two years. Okay. So this is actually, that's why you see three names on the space, because it's actually, um, it's Morningstar Farms, Hayworth, and Sundance. And Sundance, okay. So this is an official Sundance venue, and so they've been renting the space, but it, it was a disaster. Um, How was it? 
Yeah, we had to we had to gut it back to the walls. There was just stuff all over the place, and the furniture in here was just not real pleasing. The uh, lighting was horrendous. Um, so, <laughs> Lighting's I mean, everything, isn't it? It is. It's very important. It really is very, um, very important. You know, and this is this is kind of a tough space. Um, you know, it's not but very high ceilings and that kind of stuff. But you've made it pretty cool here. Yeah, I was going to say, I think we, we wanted it to be a quiet space. I mean... I mean, not that the other spaces around Sundance and the festival are not nice. They are, they are nice, it's, but it's all about connection, and there's a lot of stimulus going yeah, it's all, it's on. It's not chaotic. It's um, creative chaotic, I guess, or something. Yeah, it's a lot of stimulus going on. So this, you know, Rick designed the space to be um, collaborative, but more in a, in a quiet quiet yeah, place. Right, where you can kind of let your – you can take it – yeah, I call it, okay, I come here to breathe, and I get on my e – you know, check the emails and in between, and, and again, you know – Amazing, amazing space that you provided here. Now, who is, are these designers that designed? Every, I mean, like the walls and things like that. Well, it was a collaboration between all of us: the Sundance team, uh, the Kellogg team, Morningstar Farms team, and the Hayworth team, and then uh, our agencies as our partners as well. Uh, onboard experiential marketing out of uh, Sausalito. So we really all Sausalito, California. Exactly. Oh, really? okay. Yeah, I mean, we all worked together uh, to learn what the needs were and um, to put this, you know, put the space together. And I like that because you start with the needs first. That's where you start, a you know, working project. Okay, so when um, it was interesting because I I was I was thinking, oh, okay, great. When this is all over, I get to go up down the street and go <laughs> eat <laughs> these burgers that are so delicious. And that's not the case. What is going on up up north from here? Well, we closed the veggie. Yeah, we closed the veggie burger bar on Tuesday. Uh, last year we were open a few days longer, but. Um, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. So w we closed early this year really to provide this space. We, we took some of those that those budgetary dollars and drove them here because we felt that this was this was important too. I mean, the Veggie Burger Bar is all about the fans uh, of Sundance, right? The, you know, you can come in there and get a free meal. Everyone can come in there and get a free meal. And when they say free, they mean free. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we felt like, you know, we were serving that need very well. I mean, we're doing close to 200 burgers an hour there or entrees. Uh, but this was important too, right? Because Sundance is all about helping those new first-time filmmakers. So, you know, we, we closed early for that reason so that we could get behind this space. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Now tell us about um, Morningstar and where you can find the product. Gosh, we're in I every major uh, grocery store uh, in the country, every place from Target to Walmart to Kroger to Smith's, um, right on down the line. And where do you find, is it in the frozen food? It is in the frozen food aisle, yes. And what, okay, so there, um, there's different patties, I guess. Yep. We have uh, veggie burgers, which is probably what we're most well known for, but we have chick patties, we have riblets, we have crumbles, which is like a ground beef substitute. Over so what is that made of? It's a substitute of ground beef. They're all protein-based uh, foods, um, but the popular ones, most people enter the brand on the veggie burgers. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, welcome. I mean, again, thank you so much for having us here. It has been an incredible experience for our team, and uh, you guys have done an incredible deal here for, I mean, an incredible uh, have created something incredible for all of us to be at and to be able to share and to meet people and to meet people like you. And again, Whitney, got to throw a shout out for Whitney. She's so precious, you know. She w and she was leaving the other day. She goes, Monica, you guys made it nice for me to come here every day. I said, Are you kidding? You made it nice for us. She's amazing. Yeah, you're very welcome. Everyone's been great, and that's yeah. why we keep coming back to Sundance. It's just a great, great, great event and great activation for us. And so hopefully Hayworth will be back next year with us. I hope so. Looking for I'm already looking forward to next next year. So, thank you so much, you guys. Again, uh, this is Utah Technology Magazine. Thank you so much for joining us. Watch, uh, download our app, the magazine app, at the newsstand, and then also watch us on our YouTube channel, Utah Technology Magazine. Thanks. See you again.